Hi and welcome to Sadie Spincraft. Today we are going to be dyeing in jars. Um, I've got the big one which has rubber top there um, to make sure it seals and that's going to have the Perindale in. I've got this old coffee jar um, that also has a rubber seal to shut the top and I will be putting in Cheviot. Um, it's about 30 grams of tre Cheviot and I'd say between 80 and 100 grams of the Perindale because I've just kind of pulled it off my bump. Um, we shall be adding white vinegar and in the big one I'm going to be using moss green and these are Dharma acid dyes and in the small one I'm going to use the berry crush so we're going moss green and pink today these will be blended on the blending board at some point and I will add um, oh, I've got stuff on me I will be adding sparkle and sari silk to give it like a tweedy finish um, I'm just waiting on the kettle so to get started let's add the vinegar I don't do precise me measurements with vinegar I, uh, it's one of those I just add it so we'll open that we'll open that tend to do it with these jars up to that line where the label would stop so I don't know if you can see that line I'll show you in a sec so I give it a nice healthy chug because this has got 100 grams in I'm going to put even more in like I say I don't really do measurements when it comes to vinegar I've been really struggling with citric acid recently which is why I've gone back to the vinegar. So I have roughly that much vinegar <laughs> in that one and roughly that much vinegar in that one. I will be adding boiling water to these. Then we add our dyes and then we'll just put the fibre in. Close the lids and leave them till they go cold. Once they've gone cold, fingers crossed, all the dye will have taken and you'll be able to wash them and yeah get them up hanging to dry so I'll be back with you in just a second once the kettle has boiled so I've got my kettle full of boiling water I'm gonna add to this one first and then I'm gonna add to this one I'm not going to fill them completely because I will need to add some when I've added the fibre. There will be a difference with how these fibres go in. So I'm going to put the berry crush in first. So yeah, the reason why there will be a difference on how these fibres take up the dye I'm using that much is because... The chevia is more of a coarse to medium wool, which will soak up the water a lot quicker. And the Perindale is more of a fine to medium wool, medium to fine wool. So it'll take longer for that to soak up that water. So I'm going to put this chevia in first. And with it already being hot, you don't have to heat it up. You don't have to do anything other than put your wool in and basically just let it do what it needs to do. It will absorb all that water, all that dye, so so that the fibre's got a bit of room. I'm going to add a little bit more water into there. Not too much, just let it, enough to let the fibre move around. And it will be two-tone. With it being very crush, it'll be like a purple at the bottom and a pink at the top. Squish that lid on and leave that to cool. Next one, I'm going to do... I'm not bothered about using berry crush first. 
because I'm just not that technical. And because we're having slightly more, I'm going to get slightly more. Because we've got a bit more extra fibre. We'll get there. I'm going to add a bit extra dye. Do you know what? I am going to add just a tiny bit more because I can. Just to make sure I've got enough. And I'm not worrying how it's going in. I'm not putting it end to end. I'm literally just grabbing it and shoving it in. See, this will take longer because obviously Perrindale doesn't soak up the water as quick. Sorry, I'm shouting into the microphone there. It's because I'm doing two things at once. So I shall add. Oh, look at how them colours change. This is why I like doing it like this. It's already nearly done. Oh, that's popped off because of heat. Give it another squish. It'll probably pop off again. I'm going to add some more hot water to that. So it's got some extra room. So we'll have another two-tone with this. And already that green's nearly absorbed. So we'll leave those to go cool. And I'll be back in a bit to uh, show you the results. We'll get them washed and hung out to dry. So, as you can see, um, the water is clear. I have pushed it down. So I'm going to give it all a good clean because it stinks of vinegar. I'm going to do it in lukewarm water because this is still lukewarm. It's not cold, but it's not hot either. So... I'll just move these out of the way. Grab this so you can see. So we'll empty all this out first just so you can see. Well, there is a little bit, as you can, not much though, not what I'd worry about. And I think that's just because I didn't have enough fibre in. see that it's not much left like I say it's not what I'd worry about some people might I don't so just bob that there while I get rid of that I got rid of that one and we'll just have a look at this green oh there's nothing left in this green one I don't think there is anyway there's no blue or out we do have some bits of blue but I think that's from when it got inside a jar mm, got some lovely shades in there so I'll just give that a squeeze empty that out so now I'm going to give it a rinse I'm doing it all outside today because and it's lovely and warm it's 30 30 31 degrees centigrade in the UK right now absolutely loving it it could do with being a slight tad warmer for me most people will disagree with me so I'm going to wash these together I'm going to add a little bit of soap I like to rub it rub it in so then we're not getting clumps of soap everywhere. So in goes the pink. Because they're getting blended together, I'm not too bothered if they do transfer. In goes the green. So just remember the, the green is Perrindale, the pink is Cheviot. 
Oh, they do look good together. I don't see anything coming out. Oh, there's a little bit of pink. I don't mind. I'll finish off in lash rinse. So. Take that one out. If you have finer fibre than I've got, I do advise being a little more gentle with it. Sorry about the uh, sirens. Now for the rinse. Oh, just got a blooming fly in there. There we go. And these in for lash rinse and then I'll hang them up to dry. I'll show you the finished result once they dry because I walked that long today once they're out online. Very nice. Shouldn't really mess with it the way I do, so I advise not to mess. I just can't help myself. <laughs> Take that out. I'll just hang this on line. Seeing as I'm outside, I might as well hang it straight up. And then I'll show you what they look like on the line. Sorry about that, just left you for a second there. Oh, get off my hands. So, I'll just pause you a second. Left to excuse, I'm on my side. Left to excuse the wood, we are doing something with the garden. So there's the pink, slightly darker at the top and in other places because it were folded up. And here's the green, with the light and dark bits because I didn't put it in one end to the other. I just shoved it in so yeah I'll show you once it's all nicely uh, dry and here we have the finished braid of Perendale the green from the jar and the dried Cheviot or Cheviot however you would like to pronounce it and you can see the darker shades were it first went in and then the lighter shades I like this one as well because you've got white well it's not quite white but it's it's a lot paler than the rest it's gonna look beautiful when it's all blended up so thank you all so much for watching don't forget if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button tickle that notification bell and leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer them best to my knowledge. If I can't answer them, then I will point you in the right direction to who I believe can answer them for you. So no matter where you are in the world, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing and I'll see you all again soon. Bye my beautifuls.